<laughs> Who knows what evil lurks in the heart of game? <laughs> the Shadow knows. Hi, I'm the Shadow Snows and I'm back with another Vic 20 video. Tonight I'm going to play the game Spiders of Mars by Peter Fokos. Uh, yeah. And again it runs with the uh, 8K memory expansion. Is this? Ah shit. Feels quite playable. Okay. You obviously play a fly. Yeah, this is definitely one of the better games I had on the Big 20 so far. Not really original, it's just a simple shooter. But for the Big 20, quite nice graphics. Oh, I. Okay, that's what happens when the spider lands. I'll definitely have another go, come on. Yeah, nice and big and colorful sprites. No, I'm not stupid. Da -da -da. No. And again, I'm not quite sure how much these games were. I uh, found a catalog from Lufekop. Hope fun. Backwards. And their games were all uh, $10. Which I think was significantly uh, cheaper than cartridge games. And to be honest, waiting 5 minutes to play a game is, is not terrible if you save some money. Especially uh, if you have uh, those budget games from the UK. Which were uh, 10 or 15 German marks, which. converts to about, I think, 5 to 7 or 8 dollars. Or probably even less. If you convert uh, the 199 or 299 British pounds to uh, American dollars, it's even cheaper. But I think the games on the Big 20 were more expensive. But the budget games were uh, really a good idea. I mean, 10 German marks is... It was affordable for a 12-year-old. When I was 12, I could probably buy one or two budget games uh, a month. And I would assume it was the same in, uh, in the UK. So just imagine you got your games for uh, three or four dollars. Oh, and this was slows down a little bit when there's a lot going on. Yeah, three or four dollars or maybe five dollars for a game like this. Yeah, that was the reason why uh, cassette tapes were so uh, popular in Europe. But I 
got my uh, disk drive very quickly because uh, if you wanted to copy games, which was even cheaper than uh, budget games, because uh, later on uh, a blank floppy disk was less than a buck over here, less than one German mark. I think the cheapest uh, floppy disks I got for the Commodore 64 were like uh, five or six marks, which is less than three euro. So uh, considering inflation, it's six euro for a ten blank floppy disk that they worked, and I guess. They still work if I still have them and can find one of them. Yeah, and later on in uh, 86, 87, a pack of uh, 10 Commodore branded floppy disks were less than uh, 10 German marks, so yeah. And if you uh, punched a, a hole in, into the disc, you could use uh, the second side. Which basically doubled the capacity. And you can fit, yeah, let's say, five or ten, yeah, yeah, more like ten, single load games on uh, on one floppy disk or let it be eight or even less six games on a single sided floppy disk then uh, ten blank floppy disks gave you sixty games 60 games for less than 10 bucks, so yeah. Software piracy was economically very feasible back in the days. So bas basically that paid for the quite expensive floppy disk drive. Yeah, but I think I have enough of this game. This is not bad, as you can see by the length of the video. Yeah, I like playing this more than once. So, uh, yeah. That was Spiders of Mars on the VIC-20. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.